Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Hey guys! If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. So, the Metal Mountain. A few weeks ago, Neva and I tore into the basement. We cleaned out the entire thing. This was all the metal that we found. If you missed the videos, Here's a quick recap. 10 months ago, I moved into my late grandpa's 102 year old farmhouse. The inside of the house was absolutely beautiful. From the original woodwork to the beveled windows, the house was a jewel. But there were two main problems. The inside was full of stuff and the siding was original. The farm around the house was also full of hundreds of thousands of pounds of scrap metal. Seeing as I'm Cole the Corn Star, I'm not afraid of a little work so I started cleaning. The first project I undertook was cleaning the main two floors of the house. Since the house had not been cleaned in 40 years, this took a while. After that, I needed an outside break, so we started clearing large scrap metal. The price of steel fell out, so we paused our scrapping project and started siding the house. We got the house half sided and then harvest started, so once again, we had to pause another project. This brings us to where we are now. Neva and I recently got all the junk cleared out of the basement, and in the process, we created a metal mountain. So today, Neva and I are gonna pick up this metal, load it into the dump truck, take it to the scrap yard, see how much money we can get out of it. How much do you think's here? Um, $2,000? I'm guessing 650. <laughs> Got my GoPro strapped to my chest. Got the best helper in the world right here. And we got a metal mountain. Let's go get the dump truck and the skid loader. The dump truck. Hey, Neva. Yeah? On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you to get rid of this? 10, I have been wanting to do this forever because I want it gone. <laughs> so I'm really excited to get rid of it. We're getting closer. We're gonna have a bigger load than I thought. Hey GoPro. Pay him 50. If you don't behave for Cole, this is what's gonna happen to you. Ah. Hi Shad. Hey Cole. He was just complimenting my nice headband. Hey, where'd you get those sunglasses at? Pitvipersunglasses.com. Pretty sweet. Did you use the code Cole the Corn Star to get 10% off? Yes, I did, sir. It's the only code to use. Star. What did we get you in? <laughs> I kind of walked into a trap over here. I came over to get a different pickup. Neva is outside loading up. Cole is sitting in the skid loader where there's heat. <laughs> and Neva's out freezing her butt. So now I'm helping Neva load up stuff so they can get in front of their house. There was a lot of garbage they'd taken out of the basement. That's what we're doing. We're doing a good job, ain't we, Neva? Yep. Hey, Cole, this is real good meat. <laughs> Even if it's two months old and stuff, it's still sealed up. It should be good. You're throwing away good food. Whatever you do, Neva, for the next week, do not eat the food Cole cooks. It could be old food that's sitting out here. It looks so much better. Good job, Neva. Thank you. Daddy Cornstar came right as we were finishing and he threw a cardboard box in there. So I gotta hike myself up there, get that box out of there, and then I need to put the tailgate on. And then we'll go bring this to the scrapyard. Oh yeah, and I also gotta throw that in. <laughs> Ugh. 
Okay, now I need to get the tailgate on. And I need to throw this light in. You might have to move some stuff. Okay! It's never a good day if you run over a nail. Okay, we got her dumped. Let's go check it out quick. Big old pile of stuff. I want one of those. Wow, pretty good amount of stuff. <laughs> we gotta pick out all these nails and stuff quick. that thing. It's like the claw. Toy Story. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> it's always fun looking on the pile to see what other people have brought in. I've seen this pile twice as tall and have combines sitting on the top. Now I gotta get down, Neva. Okay, let's jump. Ready? Go for it. I'm gonna break my ankles. Yeehaw! Ah. Alright, let's go get paid! Some of these piles are the smallest I've ever seen them. During the winter time, they must haul a lot of stuff away, so that way when guys are scrapping during the summer, they have the capacity to hold everything. Just looks a lot different in here right now. Ooh, cool, you ran a stop sign. No cops in the scrapyard. So when we pulled into the scrapyard, we pulled on a scale to be weighed. And then we went and dumped everything, so now we're coming back to the scale to be weighed again, so that way we know how much metal we dropped off. Therefore, they know how much they need to pay us. Okay, I'll be right back. What do you think? Got it right here. 500. First off, how much do you think it weighed? Um, 500 pounds. Just kidding, that's way too much. Like, 300 pounds. 300 pounds of metal? I'll give you a second guess. We put in about 20 skid loader buckets full worth of metal. Um, like 1,000 pounds. Is that a better guess? It's in the right direction. <laughs> okay, 2,000 pounds. In the basement, we found 4,000 320 pounds of metal, but the price is only $70 a ton, so we made $151.20. What? <laughs> Are you serious? So there we have it, guys. The metal mountain is completely cleaned up. And not only is it cleaned up, we got some extra spending dollars in our pocket now. Now I'll be able to take Neva out on a date. As for the house, what do we have left? Since this is the garage, I'm also considering this to be part of the house. First things first, outside of the garage, I want to get it all cleaned up. This just looks messy and I don't like messy and the inside of this building really needs cleaned out and yes it is like this through the entire thing that one's gonna take a while but luckily for us this building is the only one on the farm that hasn't been cleaned out yet I still need to clean everything off the front porch and the front porch is basically rotten so that's gonna be addressed this summer when we finish siding the house and then last but not least Neva and I still have to clean out the attic not really looking forward to that one but once that that's done, the house will be clean. What will happen when we get the entire house clean? It'll be clean and we can do other projects. The last big thing we have to clean in this entire house is the attic. So the attic is very big. It is very, very messy. There's lots of like nests because there's a lot of birds. So there's lots of bird poo, hay, just lots of garbage. But I mean, once we clean it up, it'll look good. I'm gonna be so in shape though because there's lots of going up and down the stairs. Hey, Neva. Yeah. Out of you and I, who's the better worker here? Do you want me to be honest or do you want me to lie? <laughs> if I'm lying, Cole. <laughs> and if I'm not lying, I'm the better worker because I'm faster than Cole. Cole's really slow. Man, that one backfired on me. <laughs> Guys, we finally did it. The basement is clean and everything is out of there. We also cleaned up the metal pile or the metal mountain that was outside the door, which I'm really happy we got rid of because it was so messy and I was so tired of running into things every single time I walked in and out of Cole's house. So I'm glad we got that cleaned up and we took it to the scrap yard. And that was nice. I thought we were gonna get a lot more money for that, but I mean, I guess that shows how much I know about metal scrapping. But yeah, we didn't get that much, but that's okay, because at least we got that big mountain out of the way, which is what I wanted, which is what Cole wanted, and so it was worth it to get it out of here. Well, this is the end of the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and also leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.